Hi everyone, I'm here with this week's unboxing. These are vintage pieces that I just got into my collection. They're all available for sale on my website. I thought I would start off wearing all the Chanel pieces that are available for sale today. And I have another single flap small bag in. This is Chanel from the 90s with a full crossbody strap. This has been one of the most popular styles, I think, just because of its wearability today, because it is the full crossbody, unlike the classic 2.55 is just a double strap. So it's really, it's beautiful bag, but to wear something crossbody, this is the one. This one's in great shape, as is everything in my collection. I'm really particular about quality. This is the black lambskin and it has 24 karat gold plated hardware. So that's something that Chanel discontinued in the early 2000s. So um, the plating lasts really long and doesn't tarnish very easily. And it also has like that dreamy yellow gold when you think of vintage 80s and 90s Chanel. I love that bag so much. I have one in my personal collection. And then I have on these coin earrings. So this is another iconic Chanel style. If you're just starting out your collection, this would be a great first style to purchase and invest in. This is also, this. so this is the coin size earring, coin style, and it came in a bunch of different sizes. This is like the, I would say the most popular size, one inch coins. And these kind of have like a raised 3D Chanel interlocking CC pattern and also can you see the quilted detail in there kind of like the I like the quilted bag obviously the stitching on the leather bags it's so good hope you can see that they're really such a great pair and they go with everything I just feel like it adds like a little bit of that like classic feel and then this is a silk twill scarf it's so pretty and soft it has such a beautiful hand feel on it it's black and it has pink and white camellia florals on it, which is the flower of Chanel with interlocking CC jewelry motifs. It's so beautiful. It's a really large square. It has hand rolled hems on it. Oh God, the quality. It says Chanel down there at the corner. It's just stunning scarf. Kind of my favorite color combo is like white, black, pink, a little bit of gold. I just feel like it's so iconic. And then I have some other scarves in my collection today too to share. This one is um, Oscar de la Renta. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the signature down there. It's a really lightweight drapey silk, which I like. It So it gives it like a lot of good movement when you have it on and you're wearing it. And it's a rectangular scarf, so size. So you don't even need to fold it. You could just like drape it on like this, which I think looks great. And also this size is great for like putting in your hair or like putting a little knot on your bag or a bow on your bag. It's a little bit different than obviously the large square sizes that a lot of designers did. I have another large one. So this is like the standard 34 inch that like Gucci, Hermes did, Chanel. Chanel sometimes even a little bigger. But this one's Gucci and it has a navy border on it. And I just like the color pop on this. I think this would be just beautiful for like Mother's Day or spring or just like a classic, beautiful, beautiful scarf. Can you see the butterflies? I hope you can. And also fruit. So there's like plums and cherries, lemons, peaches. It's really pretty. Love this one so much. I just like all the prints in scarves. They just, it's fun. Like it's different than buying solid color bags. I like a little pop. Speaking of pop, <laughs> this is a little Louis Vuitton. You can see the LV down here. This is the petite, um, bucket bag in tangerine epi leather. So cute. Again, such a good size, especially on a shorter petite frame. It's in great shape. This one's from, I think, uh, 2003 actually I looked. And it's super clean inside too. I'll give you a look at the inside. No zip or anything, everything just kind of pops in, but it's a little bit more structured. So I think things stay in it well. And then another Louis Epi bag. So this one, yeah, you can see the LV. 
This is the St. Jacques style in Borneo green. So it's like a beautiful gra deep grass green, which I think is so sharp for spring. Especially if you're not someone that wears a lot of color, I think this just like adds that pop to your neutral look that you wear. And it's like an inverted shape. So it's really narrow at the top and then it gets thicker at, towards the bottom. It has a full zipper on it too and it's like an accordion style. So it just kind of opens like this. And it's kind of like a crossover. I wouldn't say it's a tote, but I also wouldn't say it's like a handbag or shoulder bag. It's like, it's kind of both. It almost looks like a market bag, like something you know, like a wicker straw bag, which I like. It's like, kind of feels like a farmer's market bag in a way, but like an elevated one, if you know what I mean. It's great, it's in great condition too. Colors spot on. And then I have this other Louis Vuitton piece that they no longer, they still make a backpack, the Montsoris, but they've changed the design. So the design no longer has the front pocket on it. And then they also, um, don't carry the size anymore. So they have the PM and the GM, so a smaller and a larger, but they don't have this middle size. For God knows, I like have no idea why they would stop doing that. I feel like this is the most popular size if you're gonna get one. It feels like, I don't know, more people I think can wear this size and it's more functional. Um, this one's in great shape. You can tell literally first thing you wanna do on Louis is like check the bottom and the patina is super even. This one's from 95, so it's in great shape. For 95. I don't have any stuffing in it, so bags will refine their shape once they get a new home and are worn. But yeah, I love this one. So classic. It has a drawstring uh, closure on it. So you unbuckle it and then you undo the tie. And then, well, since I already have it open, I'll just go ahead and show you it because it's super clean, it has a little pocket. So that's it. It's a classic style. It's a popular one. I haven't had it in my collection in a while. You can find all these on my site, jillianbremer.com, and my vintage shop is there. Um, I have a ton more vintage pieces. And then I also, you can find me on Instagram. It's my name too. If you have any questions on pieces, it's a good place to, I like to chat with my customers over there. And then I have a couple costume pieces to share. This is a 1980s heart pendant which i really like it's like kitschy but modern but vintage i don't know there's just it just spoke to me and i like the chain as well good size just adds a little something something from the 80s super 80s maybe early 90s and then these are clip-on but super modern they are really sleek too they're like thin and they're such a good size. I feel like I get a lot of people wanting this size because it's practical and easy to wear, but yet, yeah, can you see? They're very sleek. I like them. Gold and white, I mean, can't go wrong. All right, that's everything for this week. Thanks for tuning in. You can always check my past episodes, and if things haven't sold out, they're available on my website for sale, so. And message me with requests. I'm always out shopping, love chatting vintage. So 